sure that there are some internal problems in Africa uh, which uh, actually uh, uh, make it uh, difficult for nations actually to service their loans. Now, the, the issue is of service their debt. Uh, you, listening to you, Kinley, I would love to, to ask uh, this question. Now we are in a world of uh, global transformation. It's true that we don't know the effect of, of uh, or, or how the effect of this transformation will look like, but then listening, and of course the raison d'etre uh, for the creation uh, of uh, the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. Do you think uh, that, and there, there has uh, been a recent call for uh, reforms in these financial institutions now, do you think uh, that it will bring more respite, especially to developing country, uh, countries uh, in the spheres or the, uh, in phase with uh, this uh, quest for a more uh, multipolar, uh, multipolar society that will actually maybe uh, uh, reduce uh, the uh, policies or the, the reforms uh, that exist, uh, which are not really favorable for developing nations in uh, the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. You see, <laughs> looking at things and looking going through the question you just asked, I want to say it is even the reforms would not really be beneficial to African countries. How? The reason is because okay, look at it. <laughs> if you want to see why the idea of reforms is coming, it's not necessarily because. Uh, Europe is listening to what Africa is saying. Europe is listening to China because China has imposed itself. Yeah. And having imposed themselves, they have the, the BRICS bank that they have created, you know, it's found in Beijing, right? Sure. It's located in Beijing. Mm -hmm. Then the Asian Development Bank, which also gives loans, is in Beijing. And that is where China uh, gains its strength. And as a result of that, the IMF is seeing a problem. It is, China is practically tilting attention away from the IMF to itself. So as a, as a result of that, if they are supposed to do a reform within the World Bank and the IMF, it is going to be favoring China not Africa. And the intention for doing that, for asking, uh, for accepting even that there should be reforms, is because they have seen that China has decided to say, okay, what the IMF was doing, we can also do now by ourselves. Sure. By the, 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 BRICS is, the BRICS Bank is there to do what the IMF was doing, the World Bank was doing. And that will become a, a serious problem for the World Bank. Mm -hmm. And so why shouldn't they accept restructuring or reforms? The reforms yeah. But to who are they accepting the reforms? Is it to the people who come take the loans? I mean, Africans who are the, 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 the people suffering from the yoke of these loans? Yeah. So I'm not against reforms. But I think Africans need to get to the place where they do what the government said. There should be cooperation within African nations. Absolutely, yeah. African nations, I think at a particular period of time, they got up and were talking of creating the African Development Bank, African Development Bank, which was supposed to be a bank that is majorly sponsored by African, by nations. African nations. But sure. if you look at it, the main sponsors of the bank are Europeans. So it ends up not being an African bank, development bank. So the question we should be asking is, where is Africa heading to if we have the wrong people sitting at the hands of the nation? What are they planning on how to restructure this, to balance this? Because it's not all about coming to make a speech. Making good speeches is nice. Sure. But we need to be able to take our speeches then put them on the ground, work on them. There is need for cooperation. There is need for Africans to come to, to unite, to build a united front, to face the world. Of recent, some of us, we laughed and laughed 
when the G20 actually the, actually included African, African Union. Union as a member of the G20. African Union is not a country. African Union is made of 54 countries. So if you see African leaders glad that they are happy that they have been included to be members of the G20, there's a problem. That is a problem. So we need to get to the place where as leaders, we not only get excited over crumbs that are thrown on us, but we should become major decision makers on this. The future of Africa practically depends on solving the debt crisis problem that we are having right now. Absolutely. And if it is not done, we shouldn't be talking of development because we will remain a debt war, or let's put it the way, developing countries as they are calling us, when those who claim to be developed countries will keep on dictating the rules and implementing them and telling us what to do. And we will remain at the beginning end. So I think we should not only look at these Westerners for doing what they are doing, because we are living in a war. I want to tell you this. I'll, I'll Survivor of the fetus is there. Ab and absolutely. so Africans must be able to stand, to be able to face the bull by its horns, not waiting that they should be given crumbs. Okay.